Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how to use array using C language. So in my example or demonstration today, I'm going to use the DebC text editor to make our array program. So to start, let me have here the header file. So I have here number include stdio.h. Okay, and then of course I have the function main. And I now have the body of my program. Now, before you can start creating your array program, of course, you need to declare your array uh, data type or your array declaration. So, in my example or in declaring an array, we have three things to prepare. Of course, we have the data type, the array data type, the array name, and of course, the index or the number of elements inside your array. So in my example, I will use int, a shortcut for my integer. And I have here num, this is the name of my array. And I will enclose in a square bracket the number of elements or the number of index. So in my example, I will use 3 as the number of elements inside my array num. Then I'm going to have here, so this is very simple, so take note, since we have here array 3 or index 3 rather, all elements of your array or the index of your array always starts with 0. So meaning if you have index 3 or uh, you are referring here to 3 elements, so the index here are the following. So we have index 0, index 1, and index 2. Now, if you're going to have an index of 5, so that will give you index ranging from 0 up to 4. Okay, so this is how simple uh, it is in uh, referencing your uh, index. Okay, so let me go back to number 3 as the number of elements. Okay, and then if I want to set a value for my array so i can have it uh, encoded manually so example num index zero as i mentioned this is from ranging index ranging from zero to three so for example the value of num index zero is 10 second value we have index one so example the value here is 18 and the last number index two the value is five okay so we're in i have here this is my array declaration, okay, and the following, uh, these are the values of uh, my array per index, okay. Now, if you want to display the value of this, of course, you need the looping statement. So, to display values of array, so, of course, you need the looping statement, okay. In my previous videos or in my videos, I have there uh, my video about the looping statement. So just uh, watch it so that you will learn how to create loopings using uh, C language. Okay, so in my case, I will use the for loop. Okay, then I'll declare i is equals to zero. So as I mentioned, the initial value or the default value of uh, your index, array index is always zero. And then we have i is equals to so since the maximum number of element is 3 so i have here my condition should be less than 3 so that the program will manipulate from 0 to 3 or you can have less than or equal to 2 so you can have this condition so it's up to you uh what you think is you're more comfortable with okay and then you have i plus plus okay and then we have here printf. So we're going to display now the value of your uh, array. So we'll start with percent %d because this is declared as integer. And then I'm going to use backslash t for the tab. And then I'm going to display the name or the array, which is num. And then I will use the index i. Okay, so every time that the program loops, okay, it will change the value of your index here. So, magbabago po yung looping value dito. 
So this will uh, this will start from zero and then magi increment yung value, magiging one, and then magiging two, and then magiging three. So it will display one by one. Okay. So let me try to run this one. Okay. So but before that, let us save. So array test. Okay. I already have my um, program earlier, so I'll save it okay now in our case i think we need the okay we forgot to declare the value of i or the data type of our counter which is i okay so if you will look at this one i have 10 18 and 5 so just to add a title for this so i'm going to add print f of the array num R, okay, and then I have backslash n here. Okay, so let me do it again. So the elements of the array R, R, array num rather, are 10, 18, and 5. No. Now, another way to do this one is using this uh, method. Okay, so for example, I have, and I have 18, and I have 3. Okay. So, I'm going to put a comment here. So, instead of assigning the values of my array uh, per index, I can have it this way. So, we're in number index 3. These are the values 5, 18, and 3. Okay? So, I have here 5, 18, and 3. I hope you got that. Okay. Next one. So this time, we're going to create a program wherein we will now input the value of your array. So, ito kasi, in my example, naka-fix po yung values ng ating elements. So this time, I'm going to create a program that will accept inputs from our array. Okay, so let me copy this one. Let me copy. Okay, but then this time, I'm going to have this work. I have enter a number, okay, and then I'll have scan f. Okay, so what I'm going to do inside this one, or I put this statement inside the looping. So every time that this one will loop, okay, this uh, statements will be repeated again and again. So how long? So up to three times because the program will st the looping will start from zero up to two so zero one and two so this will display three times okay so let's try to do this so enter a number so here so for example i have four another one two one okay so the elements of the array num are four two and one. Okay, just to add um, additional value for this, so let me have percent %d. Okay, for percent %d, I will have here index i plus 1. Okay, so what happened here is that the program will start. Okay, let's do the simulation here. Simulate po tayo. Okay, let's check our program. So, the program, so let's have first our array. So, num, array num has index 3. Okay, so this is your array, array value. And then, initial value of your i is 0. So, this is i is equals to 0. Then, automatically, it will display this part. So, let me have the output here. So, lagay natin, enter a number. Now, if you will see this one, I have here percent %d. Percent %d referring to num index i. So, here, num index i. Okay. So, whatever is the number that I will input here, yung ilalagay ko dito, automatically, yun po yung magiging value ni num index i. So, example, I will input 4. Okay, so automatically, sorry, let me have this one. So let me change this. Okay, so I have here going back for this one. So enter a number. Then I have here percent %d. Percent %d 
ang value niyan ay i plus 1. What's the value of i? 0 plus 1, it will give you 1. So, it will have enter number 1. So, that's the value of percent D. Okay? And then, I can now input the value for num index 1. So, for example, I have 4. Okay? Next one. Okay? The program will uh, increment the value of i. So, from 0, magiging 1. So, is 1 less than or equal to 2? True. So, since true po yan, gagawin niya ulit to. So, it will display, enter a number. Then, pag input niya ng number, enter a number, meron ulit percent %d. Percent %d is referring to i plus 1. So, what's the value of i? 1 plus 1, this will give you 2. So, example, I will input here 3. So, the value of num, this time the value of num index 1 is equals to 3. Okay? Increment, again, the value of i. So, yung i magiging 2. Okay? Is 2 less than 2? True. So, since this is true, we'll execute ulit ito po. Okay? So, enter a number. Okay? Again, meron ulit tayong percent D. Percent is referring to i plus 1. So, what's the value of i? 2 plus 1. This will give you so, let me input a number. So, this time, 5. So, the value of num index uh, 2 is equals to 5. Okay? Then, after that, increment again the value of i. So, this will give you 3. So, is 3 less than or equal to 2? So, this is false. So, meaning we will not do this anymore. We will now jump on this one. We're in. The purpose of this one is to display the output like this. Okay, so let me check. So, for example, I will input 4, 3, and 5. So, let me remove this so that we will not encounter problem once we compile. So, 4, 3, and 5. If you will look at this one, I already have 1, 2, and 3. So, that's the purpose of adding uh, this code. Okay, and then enter. So, the elements of the array are 4, 3, and 5. Thank you for watching my channel. So, I hope you've learned a lot. So, please click like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Bye-bye!